Can you get HIV from razor cut? Hey there, welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about something that's really important but often misunderstood, HIV transmission through razor cuts. This is a topic that many people are unaware of, but it's crucial for everyone to understand. So, let's get started. What is HIV? First off, let's talk about what HIV is. HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus, and it attacks the body's immune system. Without treatment, HIV can progress to AIDS, which is a severe and potentially fatal condition. HIV is most commonly transmitted through unprotected sex, sharing needles, or mother-to-child transmission during pregnancy, childbirth, or breastfeeding. Razor Cuts and HIV Transmission now, let's talk about how HIV can be transmitted through razor cuts. HIV can be transmitted through blood-to-blood -blood contact, so if a razor is contaminated with blood from an HIV-positive person and then used on another person, there's a risk of transmission. It's also important to note that razor cuts can happen anywhere on the body, not just on the face, and even small cuts can increase the risk of transmission. How to Protect Yourself so, what can you do to protect yourself? The most effective way to reduce the risk of HIV transmission through razor cuts is to use your own razor and avoid sharing razors with others. If you do need to use someone else's razor, make sure it's clean and hasn't come into contact with any blood. Disinfecting the razor with rubbing alcohol or a bleach solution can also help to reduce the risk of transmission. Debunking Myths and Misconceptions before we wrap up, I want to take a moment to address some common myths and misconceptions about HIV transmission through razor cuts. First of all, it's important to understand that HIV cannot be transmitted through just any type of cut or wound. HIV can only be transmitted if blood from an HIV-positive person enters the bloodstream of another person. It's also important to note that HIV cannot be transmitted through contact with blood or bodily fluids on surfaces, such as toilet seats or doorknobs. Conclusion So, there you have it, everything you need to know about HIV transmission through razor cuts. I hope that this video has been helpful in increasing your understanding of this important topic. Remember, the best way to protect yourself from HIV transmission is to stay informed and take precautions to reduce your risk. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.